Good day, Galaxians. It's Dr. Wookie. We're coming to talk to you about something that we never talk about, and that is Town Star, now known as Common Ground World. We're going to be talking about this and the town notes and what we think about it. Be sure to stay tuned because at the end, we're doing a sick giveaway that you do not want to miss out on. So be sure to enter into it. So let's jump into what has been going on. So, first off, Town Star has switched to Common Ground World. First off, I don't like the name. I like Common Ground. That's fine for like the, the game name. I don't like Common Ground World. I don't think it flows well. Whatever. Let's move on. Basically, the big thing is, is they partnered with uh, uh, Common Ground and Kissing Kissing the Ground, uh, who made uh, uh, some pretty cool movies. Common Ground right now, they're doing some features in some of the theaters, which you could have bought some ticket bundles for and stuff. It's a great video, great movie. Everything they're doing about it is great. Uh, and so they partnered with them to kind of... I don't know if to kick off Townstar a little bit more, uh, but they also made a different kind of game type. And they made some affordable NFTs. And the big thing they mentioned is that your NFTs are now going to be upgradable in Townstar. There's a lot of Townstar NFTs out there, so I don't know how the old ones are going to mix in. But what everybody really cares about and has been going on about is the node news. So what uh, Gala decided to do and come out is say, hey, if you own a town node, we're going to give you more town nodes. A lot of people aren't too thrilled with that. That's not the best thing because everybody's been holding them for like two years. Granted, I will tell you right now, I don't own any town nodes. Why? Because when they were $15,000, I personally wasn't really into the game. I didn't like the game that much and I definitely did not think $15,000 was worth it. So I did not purchase at that time. Now, they did say if you initially purchase at $4,000, you get four nodes. If you purchase at $15,000, you'll receive 15 node NFTs. That means 15 VPSs if you're going to run them all. They got to do something else here. They got to they got to adjust this in some way, um, I, in my personal opinion. Or you're going to have a ton of Townstar NFT nodes. And I don't know, is everybody going to be running all these? Yeah, sure, make the node network strong. But we don't have the the DAO, right, with Town Townstar right now, Common Ground, excuse me, world. Now, here's a couple of the features they threw in about the nodes. They're going to be guild-centric. So, okay, that's cool. You're going to have, like, guilds in town, star. That's neat. Uh, so, they're going to play a, a central role in guild dynamics, apparently. Uh, boostable nodes. I don't know what this means because it says uh, boosting your node, you can use the bot characters. Which, if we know the boom bots, I think they're still in their crates. I don't think they're done yet. Trade bot, farm bots. I don't know how that boosts it unless it's going to be for your guild specifically. Uh, and then the crane bots will be in there. Exclusive access. Now, what they mean here is that you will be the only one to list your NFTs. Okay. All right. Now we're talking. This is kind of cool. Uh, I almost think that this would be cool if they put this across the network where if you own a node for a game, you're the only person who can uh, like rent out NFTs and or uh, have spots to where other people can utilize your spots to rent out node NFTs, right? I think that could really work. Uh, kind of like how there's uh, the Nexus right now, except I feel like the Nexus should have maybe been uh, melted into the estates with Champions Arena. But I, I think we're getting there, okay, on, on how a play to earn is going to work and, and the future going forward. Uh, In-game perks, uh, the node operators are in for some game spoils, special buffs and unique power-ups, you know, whatever that means. Uh, guild competitions to spice things up. They're going to actually finally have some guild competitions. That could be cool, right? Um, guilds really fighting for that top spot to get, um, you know, whatever these rewards are going to be to upgrade your NFTs, which I'm assuming will increase your value of earning. And then they threw in this uh, introducing dirt, uh, a soft token. I don't know if Townstar, they just got rid of the Townstar token. I don't know if they're going to bring it back with uh, a dirt or, or how, how they're thinking, or if they're going to use dirt just as upgrading NFTs. I don't know where they're going with this. I know they're trying to do something because it's been a long time. It sounds like we're, they're getting closer, but I don't know if any of this is usable yet, right? I don't know if they've built this functionality in yet. And I have a bad feeling it's going to be a long time again. Uh, so the big the big takeaway here is uh, not a huge win. It's something. There's more nodes. That's cool. Uh, you know, but at the same time, it's just going to lower the market value of the nodes when they do become NFTs here shortly. Um, unless there's some way where you can stack your nodes or something to, I don't know, like make more slots, right? You only have a certain number of slots for NFTs you can loan out and maybe you stack it. Something like that. Okay. The, the community is the best part of Gala. Okay. Now, uh, I've been in like the Mafia Discord before, and if you haven't, you should definitely check it out. The reason I love the Mafia is they have done so much work. Look at this. They have a Gala Chain Tracker. It's, they call it Gyrite Tracker because Gala took forever to name it. 
But look, look at this. This is live. You can see the token transfer of Champions Arena in here. Spider tank stuff. Uh, token minting. Common Ground Academy. People burning stuff or other things. Tokens moving. This is a live feed right here. Look at that Dragon Strike. A live feed of Galachain. You got to join Mafia just, just so you can see this cool stuff. You can see all the NFT data on all this stuff. You can see like total supply. First unknown mint. So this is like somebody that is not currently uh, like published out there right now. They saw these champions early, right? Because they're being uh, played with on the uh, the the you know data and everything. Silk data. Look at all this. Just beautiful data. The mafia has done such a great job with this. Yellow's got a ton of great guilds, but the mafia you gotta pay attention to. They're gonna be one of the first ones to be minting uh, NFTs of the Gala chain. I am telling you, they got these awesome uh, different like Tim bots and things you can like make and earn credit to get. Um, and they're gonna be minted on the Gala chain in the future, I am sure. And then they have the the cave here, mazes, riddles, super amazing things. Doctor Twenty Eighty Four has made this, and more specifically, he ooh, that's my doctor has made. Alien Archives book one Kakura like just came out this book looks incredible sci-fi and if you complete the puzzles inside you can enter the code to enter one of one of these 400 total Zelfarians uh, that is on the Mafia Guild that you'll be able to probably mint to the Gala Chain later let's check out uh, the video that he made for it get ready to dive into the Alien Archives in a world where the lines of reality and fiction are often blurred, we are now met with the possibility of aliens living among us. One man, Professor Orion Plum, has spent his whole life searching for evidence of alien life, and he may have found it through the excerpts of Zentari, an alien sent to study us. Learn about his discoveries in alien archives through play, art, and numbers. Book one throws us into Zentari's favorite puzzle game called Kakuro Puzzles. Kakuro Puzzles are like a crossword with numbers and will challenge your mind. While you finish your puzzles, you can dive into Zentari's brain as you view drawings from his homeland and you can use your imagination to color them. If you are smart enough to answer the last 10 puzzles, you can go to the morph.app slash WOI and input the solutions for a chance to win your own one-of-one one alien PFP. Dive into the Alien Archives today and open your mind to new possibilities. Who is Zentari? Am I Zentari? Am I the alien that lives amongst us? It, it's only 888. Pretty cool numbers, huh? 888. Uh, on uh, Amazon paperback support community support the gala community. I think this is an awesome awesome thing You can get that cool PFP. I have not started doing the puzzles yet because I didn't want to be a cheater Okay, so I want to be doing it with uh, the everybody else so after I publish this video uh, I am gonna start looking through that so that brings us to the giveaway So the mafia guild went ahead and they agreed to go along with dr. Wookie and give away Almost a hundred dollars in medallions, which you can then spend on their site to get a OG Mafia hoodie. Uh, and it also comes with a one of one PFP that you can unlock. So what you have to do is you just have to comment on this video. It would be best if you commented with your Mafia app username. That's right. Go ahead and just go to that login page. It's super easy. You can even use Google. Whoop, where are we going? Where are we going? Right here. Login. Boom. Then you just register. That's it. Comment on this video. Be subscribed. Make sure you register on the Mafia app so that we can get you that cool freaking hoodie. As always, stay warm, Wookiees. <laughs>